What's going on everybody? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to my cubby little corner, the Beastly Gamer channel. Today we're going to talk about Ghostbusters. I mean, I, I, I know the real Ghostbusters. I was a kid when the real movies came out and I watched them. I enjoyed them. I remember the old animated series with the monkey named Tracy. I don't know what the hell is happening now. You know, the new Ghostbusters film, I haven't seen it and honestly I don't want to see it. It just feels so cheap to me, just watching the trailer. I know that people say that they saw the film, it's not as bad as the trailer, but the trailer just turned me off. It doesn't feel like Ghostbusters, and one day I will see it, I'm just not anxiously anticipating it. Now, I did see, in other Ghostbusters news, the new Ghostbusters game that was being developed alongside the film with the four female leads, and it did not look any good to me. It looked like... It looked like trash. I'm just being honest as a gamer. It didn't look like something that I wanted to play. And unfortunately, it appears that most people shared my sentiment because the game, once released, did not sell well. And unfortunately, this happened. I'll drop a link in the description. Ghostbusters video game developers filed for bankruptcy three days after the video game release. The developers of the official Ghostbusters video game have gone bankrupt just three days after the game was released. It has been revealed. Fireforge Games, a development studio behind the video game, filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy with debts of up to $12 million. The company, which was founded in Irvine in 2011, had failed to establish itself properly in the video game industry and had not produced a high-profile multi-platform game before. The game was reportedly developed in under 8 months and has received a dismal Metacritic score of just 31. The game's lack of success might have been somewhat inevitable considering the failure of the Ghostbusters remake on which it was based. With the film opening to empty theaters across the US and official merchandise being placed on sales racks before the film was even released. This is, is really, really horrible news. But, you know, companies go under all the time in, in every aspect of business. If you're going to start a business, you got to know about that business and you got to know how to build your business. Obviously, this company, Fireforge Games, didn't know too much about this business for the fact of owing debts of up to $12 million, creating supposedly a AAA multi-platform game in eight months? What are you thinking? Who in the hell is thinking that this thing is going to be successful after eight months? Are you out of your mind? I mean, this is one of those situations, man, where I can't really feel bad for him. Hopefully, that you know, the people who are involved are able to find jobs. I'm sure that there's somebody at the company who's got a boatload of money. Uh, but more than likely, a lot of the artists and, and, you know, writers and things of that nature are going to suffer. But you got to know what you're doing going into business. You got to know what you're doing signing multi-million dollar contracts on big projects like a Ghostbusters game. Jeez. You know, and it's just one of those situations where it was a perfect storm. The film looked like crap. The film performed poorly. And after seeing a film you don't like, would you want to play a game based on it? Probably not. So more than likely, it's better for this not to exist anymore. The game is out there if you guys want to try it. But I'll probably stay far, far away from it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.